Hi chipmunks, it's Miss Kirsten. I miss you guys bunches and I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to read a story to you guys just like we would do at circle time. So today I chose the story The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. and I know some of you guys might have this at your house and you might be excited that you recognize it. This is one of my favorite books and it's really fun for springtime. So let's check it out. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, five, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. Caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. He Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Chipmunks, wasn't that such a fun story? Now here's the great part. Miss Kathleen and Miss Kirsten thought of some really fun ideas that you can do at your house to go with the very hungry caterpillar. So we're going to share some ideas with your parents of activities that you can do and crafts. But one of my favorite activities is to try to find the same foods that the caterpillar ate or to draw pictures of them. And I'm not sure if you can tell this from the picture of the caterpillar, but he's made up of lots of tiny green circles squished together. So maybe you could make your very own caterpillar out of play-doh or paper or some leaves that you find in the yard that are green there are lots of different ideas so w tell your parents to keep an eye out for fun activities that you guys can do from miss kathleen and miss kirsten and we'll have more videos for you soon we miss you so much chipmunks and we hope you're having fun with your family bye